so now that we have all of our functions written out, we can actually start making the commands for the bot. So what we basically need to do is the end goal is making the bot respond to commands. So first off, we're going to have the bot leave and join the channels. So you can send a command and he'll join your voice channel. You can send a command and he'll leave and clear the queue. So first off, what we want to do is in the server, basically we just want to have like exclamation point join, oh, whoops, caps lock, join and exclamation point leave and handle that based on what we want. So first is our join command. So we can say at commands.command .command, and then with parentheses, we're going to add in a bunch of info about the command. So we're going to say na name equals join and then comma enter. We're going to do aliases. So these are basically other things that you can use to call the command. So we're going to do um, in brackets and then J is just going to be our one alias for this. So it would be the same thing as if I said exclamation point J or exclamation point join, same thing. Then we can do help equals and we're just going to leave it as quotes for now, but we're going to put in more stuff for the help uh, command later. And then down here below the parentheses, we can say async def join and then self and ctx. So this is the function right here. It's the join command. It's an asynchronous and we're just passing in ctx and the cog itself. So in this function, it's actually pretty pretty simple. Uh, we're going to say if ctx.author.voice. So basically we're saying if the author of the sent command is in a voice channel, then do this. We're going to say user channel equals ctx.author.voice.channel. Then we're going to say await self.join vc. Oh, whoops. Join vc. And remember that is this command that we did right up here. So the join vc command, and then we're going to pass in ctx and user channel. Then we're also going to say await ctx.send. And then remember, we're going to do that format thing, the F. And we're going to say, uh, Gerald has joined. And then in the bracket in the uh, curly brackets, we're going to say user channel. So in the end, it's going to say Gerald has joined and then whatever the name of the voice channel is. And then in this if statement, we're going to say else and await ctx.send. You need to be connected to a voice channel. So if the author is in a voice channel, then do the join thing, the join VC function and send a message. Otherwise, send a message saying they need to be in a voice channel. And that is all that we need to do for this. Then for the leave command, we're going to copy this commands at command thing. And then we're just going to uh, change it to leave. We're going to have the alias be L and we're going to keep the help blank again. And we're going to say async def leave self and CTX. We're just passing in self and CTX again. And we're going to say the ID equals the int ctx dot guild dot id and remember this is just getting the server id and for this basically we want to reset everything so we want to reset the queue um and we also want it to leave the voice channel itself so basically we're going to say self dot is playing equals self dot is paused equals false and both of these will be at the ID. Once we're done with that, we're going to say self dot music queue at the ID equals just a blank array. 
uh, we're resetting it to what it was initialized as right here. And then we're also going to say self dot Q index equals zero because we're resetting the entire queue. Then once we're done with that, we're going to say if self dot VC at ID does not equal none. So basically if the bot is in a VC, then we're going to await CTX dot send Gerald has left the chat. And then we're going to say await self dot VC at ID dot disconnect. And that will just disconnect Bobbert from the VC. So now that we have this, we should be able to just run our main.py and then open up Discord here. And if I, well, first of all, let's just try to say join. And we're, he's going to respond with, you need to be connected to a voice channel. So then I will connect myself to a voice channel and say join. And Gerald joins right here, like so. Um, then we can also say leave. And he'll leave the voice channel and send Gerald has left the chat. So that is pretty cool. One thing that we're going to do right now is we also need an auto leave function. So when I say join, and then if I leave the channel, Gerald just kind of stays in there. Um, but then if I do like leave again, I mean, he'll, he'll leave the channel, but you don't want to have to do that every single time. So what we can do now is we can make a command that automatically leaves when everybody has left the voice channel. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go up to the top again and under the on ready command, we're going to say, uh, at commands dot cog dot listener. We're going to do another listener and we're going to say async def on voice state update and we're going to pass in self member before and after Ooh, after and then this is going to be our command so it, we're adding another listener and it's basically going to do something every time that a voice state is updated now we only want it to leave the voice chat when everybody has left the chat. So what we do is we have um, member, whatever the voice state update was, it's the member that did the voice state update. So if I join the channel, then the member would be me. Before is whatever the voice state beforehand was, and after is whatever the voice state after was. So if I join the channel, before would be uh, outside of the channel and after would be inside of the channel. So in here, we are going to say that the ID equals int member dot guild dot ID. And that is just the same thing that we've been using. It's the server ID. Then what we're going to do is we're going to say if member dot ID does not equal self dot bot dot user dot ID. So basically we're saying as long as the member is not the bot, then we're going to do this. Um, and before dot channel does not equal none. So that is basically saying we need to be in a voice channel beforehand. And after dot channel does not equal before dot channel. So basically we're saying as long as we left the channel. So the before channel needs to be something uh you can't be outside of a channel and the after channel needs to be something different than the before channel so either you switched voice channels or you left completely so that is our if statement right here um then we're going to say remaining channel uh, members equals before dot channel dot members and this is basically just all of the channel members that were in the before state if the length of remaining channel members equals one and remaining channel members at zero dot id 
equals self dot bot dot user dot id um, and self dot vc at id dot is connected then we're going to do something so let me run this down real quick if the length of the remaining channel members which was the amount of members in the thing beforehand equals one so basically if there is only one uh, member remaining um and if the remaining channel members at the first index dot id is the self dot bot uh user id so basically if it's the bot if the one remaining channel member is the bot and if the bot is connected to the voice channel then we are going to say self dot is playing at id equals self dot is paused at id equals false then we're also going to say self dot music queue at the id equals an empty array and then we're also going to say self dot queue index at id equals zero so same stuff as the leave command we're basically just resetting everything so now we can also say await self dot vc at id dot disconnect and that will disconnect us from the voice channel so now let's try this out we can go to main.py run it real quick oh i gotta escape from the previous one you can press Control c um, to escape a previous program so if we run it right here and go into discord and i join the vc and i say join and then if i leave the vc bobbert should leave so that is going to be our auto leave command and we're going to add to this later we're going to say basically if the bot has not played music in a certain amount of time then leave but we're not going to do that yet